Hi everyone, today I'm at Latime House, uh, which is Latime Estate. Um, it's a place, very ancient place, um, at the heart of England, Buckinghamshire. And um, the place is very historical, so I wanted to share with you what I managed to learn uh, today about it and um, share with you some, some history and show you around. What, what inspired me to do video is, is the actual uh, history of the place when I read about it. When I do videos I always try to read about history of the place and this is a very sort of limited um, information I've got. So the house, Latime house is a house that used to belong to a Cavendish family, um, Baron Chesham and uh, the house itself initially was built uh, during Elizabeth the first times and here in 1647 uh, Charles the first was imprisoned and then later on Charles the uh, second found um, refuge before he fled abroad so the place um, has got kind of parallel history with the military because all the Cavendish family they have got very close ties with uh, military um, service and history of the place um, goes there and so in 18 so the house was rebuilt after the fire by third Baron Cavendish uh, Charles Cavendish um, who was the third Baron Chesham and it was built by Edward of oh, architect Edward Bloor, who managed to retain the style of um, Elizabeth I's times, um, sort of typical house. And uh, later, later this place was 1838, it was completed, and later on, in after after Baron Fourth John Cavendish died in 1980, uh, 1952, um, the house has become National uh, Military College. But before that, during the Second World War, it was a place where um, imprisoned the imprisoned um, German um, submarine um, s soldiers, and before they sent them to uh, proper uh, military camps. Um, so, you know, the, the place is just absolutely beautiful. The surroundings, the um, the actual um, landscape. So my colleagues walking around there, resting after a long day. I um, just want to show you. The place is absolutely beautiful. Nature, everything is maintained, of course. But the village there, I'll show you the little cottage later on um, that I've managed to film. And the grounds are absolutely beautiful. So, back to the history of that. Uh, in 1952, as I said, it become um, belonged to National British National um, Military College, and then. Probably because of that, probably because of the history of military association um, of the place. It was bombed by uh, RA, um, RAA in 1974 and since then, in 1980, afterwards, it became um, part of the, it became um, sort of center of conference center, training center, wedding center, all the events, massive events go here. Hence, we're here for, for this week um, at our conference. So the place is operated as Devere, which is an international group of hotels. This is where we have dinner later today, which is a restaurant over there. It's absolutely gorgeous place. It really is. There is a church, Church of um, Saint Mary Magdalene, uh, which is a family church, and there is a family cemetery. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know the time, the year when the church was built, but obviously it's it's become a place for um, you know all the family events, weddings, funerals, etc. Some really old graves there. I've just been. Uh, I've just done this video in Russian, and I thought it would be actually interesting in English as well. Um, the, <laughs> it's unbelievable. The, you know, when I was driving yesterday, uh, I, I kind of missed the place because it didn't say in the big letters that we used to. You know, 
there isn't a big sign saying Devere. It's um, it's kind of hidden a little bit. But I passed it. I missed it. Then I have to come back. And I thought, looking at <laughs> these roads, they were so narrow, like um, you know, in some um, remote places in Wales, where you have to sort of move to the side and give <laughs> give a space. So it's only one car or one and a half car. But that is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous place. Just met the lady who is um, who lives in this cottage. I'm going to show you. It's like from a postcard. It's so beautiful. And I said, um, "Is it your inheritance?" And she said, "No, they lived in Watford and they bought it two years ago, and they have to maintain it. To it's listed one of the listed houses apparently. Uh, they have to maintain it. But what she told me about the history of that house. Um, so if there is no private. Uh, there are no family anymore." After Second World War, military took over. Um, let me just show you the cottage, actually. Second World War, military took over, so it's, it has become part of uh, military and belonged to the government. And it's only in 1980 it became conference center and event center. So there is no more family, is no private, sort of private uh, house anymore, which I thought there was. And so this is all historical um, cemetery and the church is St. Um, St. Mary Magdalene Church which used to be family church where there were wedding, weddings and funeral. But this cottage, this cottage is like from um, somewhere, you know, from the postcard. It's so beautiful and she said <laughs> they've got nests on uh, chimneys. don't know if you can see it. So I didn't ask how much it was, but it must be something. Uh, and she said, what a difference it was. She didn't want to be filmed, but um, I respect that. And she said, uh, um, what a difference it is living in Watford and now living here. And they try to maintain it the same style. But um, in my Russian video, you will see, I've um, tried to show the close-up picture to me it's a dream of a dream cottage it's so beautiful it's got fuchsias it's got roses everything is absolutely roses and look at that it's absolutely beautiful beautiful oh, place. there we go this is Latimer estate which used to belong to Cavendish family, Baron Chesham, Barons Chesham. Um, if you are interested, Wikipedia actually gives you a better and broader picture um, of the family and um, their pictures and their, their marriages history, who was born, who, was, who died, who married whom, etc. So I'm not going into this because I don't remember, first of all, and I don't think it's interesting for everyone. But the, it's once again, England is full of surprises, you know, you've got a uh, really wild sort of forest and then next down the road you've got this beautiful uh, estate. So we're enjoying a good weather and I wish you a pleasant week, the rest of the week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.